this is Jeremiah Heath back. And I apologize. You know, I have tried to fix the lighting here. And we're just going to have to live. It. We're going to get some more sunshine here shortly. So, Jeremiah is on fire. Let's get going. We greet you in the only name given amongst men by which you must be saved. You only need one name. If anybody tells you anything different, they're not paying attention to simple grammar, okay? Pay attention to simple grammar. That's one thing we do here. You know, don't overcomplicate things. We have simple grammar here so that you don't overdo it. Ten in this ministry on, on my matrix is vocabulary and context. We spend a lot of time here going over, over vocabulary, context. We're not going to talk about sentence structure that much or predicate nominatives versus direct objects or not, nothing like that. We're not going to do pretty much any of that. What we will stick to some basic sound doctrine principles, and we're going to move on a little later on. And I, I, and I can't tell you that we, we greet you, and, and we just say, The Lord is my shepherd, I have no want. Um, he maketh me lie down. Yes, Master, I'm going over there. Everything else is a lot of poo-pooey. It, uh, I don't have time for it. I can tell when people really aren't submitted to God, and I don't say too much to them. I just leave them alone. Whether they tell me they're out of the church or in the church, whatever, it doesn't really matter. If you're in it and you still don't do it, then you ain't doing it. Let's put it in simple terms. You know, you, you're know, you either sufficient or enough or you ain't. I'm using some bad grammar to make a point here. It gets people's attention sometimes. I should tell my students. I used to use slang and stuff, and students' eyes would get big, you know, it, because, you know, or, or say a song that they don't think I know, like, who let the dogs out or something. They go, Mr. Pearson, you know who let the dogs out? You know, a popular song years ago in the hood, okay, where they said who let the dogs out about a thousand times, which is generally what happens when you're dealing with people who aren't concentrating and thinking. You know, you're not concentrating and you're not thinking. You're just speaking without thinking. That's why you say something a thousand times. Do you really need to say something a thousand times in asking a question? No, you shouldn't have to do that. You're practicing mental illness and psychosis when you're out there in the world because that's what the world does. That, that song, Who Let the Dogs Out? They, they said a thousand times asking a question, Who Let the Dogs Out? Over and over again. The, you know, the band called the Roaches, the Beatles, whatever, they, they had a song saying, we all live in a, in a yellow submarine. They said yellow submarine about 500 times in a row. Okay, that, that, that's, what, that's what's known as mental deficiency. God never wanted you to repeat something a thousand times. That's why the Master says in, 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 the, in the Gospels here, don't repeat your things like Hail Mary, Hail Mary, oh, this is all, this is all Babylon. The master says, you think that he's going to hear you because you said it over and over again. Once again, we're dealing with, 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 with borderline psychosis and mental problems. That's how people become mentally unstable, by, by getting into these realms of repeating things. And, and, and that's where all this mental illness comes from. It comes from people who are doing the same thing. Same thing, they're, they're repeating things, and, and before you know it, they're, they're, they're saying it over and over again. We all live in... Okay, that, that's all... That's That should have never happened in America. I'm not saying it's absolutely evil. What I'm saying is that the, the groundwork is set by, by humans getting into things that are just the wrong arena, such as rock and roll music and, and pop music or something, where you say something over and over again a million times. They had a wonderful band uh, that, that had a song, People Make the World Go Around. At the end of the song, they, they, people make the world go around. They said a thousand, people make the world go around. People make, and first of all, the world doesn't go around, so we're dealing with some, some serious problems right there. I mean, I mean, if there's some logic to that, it might be, do not ask for whom the bell tolls, but let, let's move on. 
we I'm surrounded by work here and 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 I love it you know that this is this is life this is life more abundantly this is the word blessed eulogia eulogia means words I'm surrounded by text here everywhere we have I mean, this is smoking. This is some good stuff here that we got going on. I'm very happy. We just went over. I just went over. I say we because I don't, I don't do things alone. Uh, Emmanuel, God is with me. I don't do things alone. I mentioned somebody asked me the other, a, year, a couple of years ago that I was I was praying and talking uh, to, to the Lord kind of, and, and they got you know on the conversation kind of, and it happens and. And, and they said, you're talking to yourself. I said, you need to understand something, some of you, uh, or you, that there is no such thing as talking to yourself, technically. We'll be right back. We'll take a break. We're back, taking a break, taking a break. Jeremiah is on fire. We've got the Word of God here. Now, what we're going to do today, let's get into what we're going to do uh, today. As we're heading into the middle of the month here, and we haven't made a good foundation, however, we have progress. Progress report. So, we talked about breathe on me, breath of God, standing on the promises, blessed assurance. What we want to talk about Christ our Lord is risen today, which was celebrated yesterday, yesterday by a lot of people. And that, that's nice to have a special celebration for the risen Christ. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm a seven day worker now so and I had fellowship here the other day but uh, but not yesterday actually uh, we, we were so busy with our pr production here uh, we just had you know and the, and there's also some new music coming your way so you know this is turning into something sweet uh, so let's go and I just look at look that's the first time I saw that word in in the Greek sweet but anyway was here the other day. Uh, I saw it before, but I, I guess I just forgot about it. I don't know. But, but here these here these songs are. We're going to get into those. Onward, Christian soldier. Jesus paid it all. Be still, my soul. Nearer, my God, to thee. Onward, Christian soldier. Uh, come ye disconsolate. Abide with me. I love to tell the story. My hope is built. Christ for the world we sing. Alas, and did my Savior bleed when we walk with the Lord in the light of his word. Go tell it on the mountain. I found a friend, Savior, like a shepherd. And we're going to go through all 30-something and 33 of these. 32, I, I think we have a couple of instrumentals. And let, let, let me, as touching the, the music, let me, let me remind you, I mentioned this in some of my description boxes there in these, uh, these songs that are available, these videos. And uh, I need to remind you that the music was made with headphones. So it was not used. I didn't use. I have studio monitor kind of things here, but I did not use studio monitors. So I'll let, I'll let you decide what to do. You need to basically listen to this music with headphones. My music. I wanted it to be uh, along the lines of headphone and speakers, but it just came out where this is all basic headphone. Um, you're going to miss the sound. It's not going to sound that good uh, it's i think it sounds you know okay maybe but uh you really need headphones i'll mention that i'm going to put that under some headings under these songs okay so every song i'm going to remind the people who are listening that if you have headphones it's preferred because the music was made on headphones okay it was made on headphones so you might want to you know uh and and and, and once again, you know, we, we have to have restrictions, you know, we can't have everything perfect and so forth. We can look to our, our master in Matthew chapter 6. Uh, uh, the evil of the day is the amount or sufficiency thereof. There's going to be problems with almost everything. And as far as having everything ideal, I wish, I wish, I wish, I, I wish that it would, it would have been more suitable, you know, and in terms of listening to the speakers. Because you can do that. You can make it so it's good for regular speakers and for headphones. But it takes more work and so forth. And I decided to spit it out. And of course, I, I you know, there's that warning or caveat or whatever you want to call it. Where 
well, I need to tell you that there's one special thing about the music, and, and of course, it's headphone music big time. Now, I am very happy with how it sounds on the headphones. That's why I went with that, okay? We'll move on. Let's get to the lesson germane as we, as we mentioned the music, which is a big part of this ministry here. Um, people actually like the music a, a lot more than they do a lot of these messages. And, and, and that's really, you know, the way things go in a way. I mean, I, it, I, you know, I, I always think about the Bible when it talks about the ox eats the food first. You know, when you grind the food and you work, you're the first one to enjoy it. And, and that's basically what's going on here at this time. You know, um, I've only had a few people tell me that they're, they're enjoying the lessons. Uh, recently, and and, that, and that's fine with me. You know, I don't. Uh, the, the way I got to where I am is basically being a lover of people and also someone who enjoys intellectual stuff myself. Uh, Buddhism teaches that you can throw yourself on the rocks and feed animals. This is mental illness. It doesn't mean that everything in Buddhism is bad. And that's not my point. My point is, is that we, we Protestants, we have all of the truth itemized. We would never tell anyone to go throw themselves on rocks. That's paganism, and it's called error. It's hamartia. It's sin. You're missing the mark of a C grade. Uh, in, a way that, in a way, that's what sin really is. It's where you're missing the mark. You're missing, you know, you're, it's just not going to work out for you because you're in error. Error makes everything upside down and ugly. That's what error does. The Lord never makes any errors. That's why everything he does is beautiful. God does not know how to make ugly. Ugly came from people turning their back on God. That's how things turned ugly. There was nothing ugly in the Garden of Eden. Nothing. Now we have a lot of things to do. I'm going to get back to New Covenant, which is the main uh, lesson for today. But I want to mention a few things. Uh, we just mentioned some music. And I reminded some of you who are in interested in the music that headphones are the way to go and my suggestion to you is the headphones i'm not getting paid for this or anything is one audio that's the one i would buy without equivocation they only cost about 35 bucks and they are smoking they're not audio technica 300 dollars headphones however for the money you just can't beat it and of course with cheaper headphones you don't want to listen to the music too much at one time. That even goes for my music because my music was not cleaned up. I didn't run oil barrel, noise reduction, T-Rex. I didn't run a lot of software on the music. It's raw garage stuff. Very little work was done. Um, my buddy Eric, I don't know where he is. Um, uh, my good friend Robert uh, from Do way back who was very good with studio stuff, uh, he, uh, uh, he's not doing too well, I, I've heard. I'm, we're we're going to continue to pray for him. I have not contacted him. But uh, here's the point. The point is, is that we are here to, to, go with, to go with the go. The evil of the day is, the, or the, and, and what, what the master means by that is that the errors and the opposition to things being good are going to have a certain amount. He's also telling you of his, uh, sovereignty in Matthew 6. He's going to allow things to happen. Nothing happens without him knowing about it. So that gets back to the Lord's will. I just finished a rough draft on, a rough draft on uh, wisdom. I'm very happy with it. Wisdom is a very deep subject, especially when you get into psychology of wisdom. Solomon and David are very good uh, Christian men, or 
or, or Hebrews, who speak on wisdom. Both of them are just excellent Shakespearean type, you know, guys. They, 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 they're, they're just top of the heap when it comes to explaining things and so forth. Defining things and words and ideas. Uh, both of those gentlemen are top of the line. The master is more matter of fact. That's where we start with the top. The master is the top. All of these delineations and explanations, they're not necessarily required. A Solomon's psychological profile on people who don't, who don't see beauty as God is wonderful, but you, you don't necessarily need it. Especially if you respect God and his creation, you don't need that discourse. Also, you don't need to necessarily get into the psychology of someone who is wrong. Billy's wrong over there in a thousand ways. I don't necessarily need to know the thousand ways that Billy's wrong. It can help you out, but, you know, I don't necessarily need it. As a matter of fact, I have a lesson plan for you right here. Babylon, Babylon ideology, and this is the lesson right here. There's three or four boards here that Jeremiah is working on already. I'm very happy with it too. I think a lot of people, a lot of people are going to enjoy listening to someone who, who, who is a learned individual share with them insight into what's going on in your world. Okay. So today is more New Covenant components, which is April Matrix. Now, as every day goes by here, we're going to get less and less into what's going on around here, uh, probably even less and less on the music because we're going to have to focus on uh, the April Matrix. And we're, we're going to, I'm going to probably let some of the music go. Uh, we have the Matrix, which is 52 categories which is the yearly matrix. That's where everything comes from. I have a review over the rapture we just went over. I'm very happy with the review of the rapture. It's better than, it's better than ever now, as far as comprehension. So, you know, just get ready, rock and roll. As they say, I'm not supporting rock and roll, by the way. No, no, no. It's pretty much demonic now. It wasn't necessarily demonic in the 60s, especially soft rock. It was more hippie stuff. Now it's more blatant um, abomination stuff, and we won't go into that right now. Leave rock and roll alone in general. Let's get to the lesson. Jeremiah, we're getting back into the April matrix. That's what we're doing right now. Let's go. I was tempted, kind of, I wanted to think about getting into some of these other things, such as the Matrix, but that's okay, the, the, you know, the yearly New Covenant, the whole ministry, all 52 ideas we're going to work with, okay? But right now we're going to get into April's ideas. And number one is New Covenant or Covenant. What are the New Covenant components? The New Covenant components are, I already gave an introduction, and let's let the introduction go. Let's get to brass tacks. Number one is a 2,000-year-old simple offer to take high ground. That's what Zion means. You want, you want to take the high road. Do you want to take the high road? And it's a 2,000-year-old offer and it's an offer to be a citizen of Israel. We're talking uh, a key to the city citizen. It's not an accident that David became king of Israel. He was suited for it. He had, he had the devotion to the Lord Jesus Christ and he was serious about it. 
I love thee, O Lord. Okay, he doesn't forget these, these uh, declarations. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget none of his benefits. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Number two is to offer to stand and think and act the same way uh, that, that, that the high life is. And, and go along with the same guidelines and don't forget the guidelines. Be sure not to forget the guidelines. That's why we study all the time. That's why we have a lot of, a lot of time set aside to go over these things because we don't want to forget them. I don't have an excellent memory per se. My memory is probably a little above average, but I'm just, I'm the kind of guy that works. That's the way it goes. And I like the results of the sweat of the brain, you know, uh, you know, of the pen and pencil here. I'm surrounded by ink marks around here, and all these boards, and you know, here's ink right here, red letter ink. Here's some ink over here. I, I have it open to Jonah and, and the whale and so forth. And we, we, all we have around here is just Bible study, and uh, and that's the way it should be. And my science lesson is over here. I have number ten here on definitions on faith. But let's get back to the lesson germane. Number three, number two is an offer to stand. That, that's what it is. Now, there was a famous song here called Stand By Me in America. Uh, Paul said, after, after putting on the full armor of God, stand. We don't learn things around here to sit, to sit down. You have to activate and concentrate on what you've learned. That's what stand means. Now, number three is, this is goodwill towards man. You, Adam, me, Adam. Well, to put it in American terminology, what that means is, here's hoping you do what's required. That's what goodwill towards men is. Here's hoping that you love love and love truth with the opportunity to do it. And you shouldn't basically have any problem with it because it's reasonable. Only witchcraft or craft or rebels are going to not like the offer of this goodwill towards man in the coming of Jesus Christ. It should be joy to you. If you're a reasonable person, you should say joy right on, as we used to say in the late 60s. Right on, man. I agree with that. Sounds awfully good to me. And because, because it's an agreement between two parties on the same ground with, with a promise, uh, both people are going to acknowledge their position in this two-party agreement. The Lord obviously doesn't have any problems with his part of the bargain. It's all clear, it's very simple. The problem is, it's when people don't want to agree with the, the matrix, the ideas. Humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. I don't want to humble myself. We have a loser right there, we're, we're, we're done. That's probably the main component or one of the main components of the, the covenant agreement is for you to humble yourself in the sight of the Lord. A lot of people will never do that. I remember I passed out some Bibles out there in, in, in Los Angeles, California, and I handed it to a gentleman. I could tell it was probably a gang member because I, 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 I spent a lot of time in the hood. And uh, he said, I don't, I don't kneel to anybody. I said, kneel before Jesus. And he said, he said I, I'll never kneel before anybody. He was adamant about it. He, he, he was... He was rock hard. He was, not, he was not going to kneel at Jesus Christ, which is essentially what you have to do to be saved. 
You have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, which means you have to believe on what he said to do. Some people think that believing on the Lord is something an outer there. It's like out there. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Okay. Sounds pretty out there. Like it's out there. No, it's not. Believe on the Lord is to believe on what he told you to do. You're confident that what he told you to do, I'm going to do, and it's worth it. That's really what faith really is. That he exists, and there's a reward for you not going downstairs. And not going downstairs is a good reward. Number four is the voice. Now, I have the voice on my... 52 categories, and that's uh, 39. That's how important I, I prioritize the voice. Because you never want to stop hearing the voice. Now, we frustrate the voice. The Bible says the Holy Spirit is grieved and basically frustrated by we, when we make errors and mistakes because the Holy Spirit is holy. But it puts up with us because it wants us to grow and it allows us to grow. But the Holy Spirit is a living, I'm very sensitive to evil presence because God is pure. He, he, never, he, never, he doesn't know anything about evil at all, really. He sees evil and knows about evil, but it doesn't hang around him. It's not, it's not a part of him. The Lord never sits back and goes, hey, let's think about doing something really evil or dumb or something. He never does that. He'll never do it. The voice. You, you've agreed to listen to the voice of the Lord. That, that's what you've agreed to do, and that's what the covenant is. You, you want to put your finger in your ears? You know, well, it, it can cost you. And the first thing that will probably cost you, of course, is chastisement. That's the best case scenario. Let's move on. Five is... The same ground is the same mind. Your dictionary basically says that, that, that uh, in America is that, that a, covenant, a covenant is based upon agreement on the same grounds. I, I've never heard that lawnmower so loud. It needs oil or something. Uh, pardon me. We, we have to deal with the evil of the day. We just looked at that, the negativity of the day. That's what it means. And I, I, I thought the, I thought they would cut, shut. I think they're cutting every lawn in, in the neighborhood here. But I apologize. You know, we let's take a break here. Uh, we left off on the voice. We left off on the same ground, number five. Now, what I want you to do is, we're going to take a break, and we're going to we're going to get into some basics here, and get back to the matrix. And this is very simple. Uh, we're talking about the aspects of an agreement, of a covenant. Now, the Bible doesn't really focus that much on promise, the promise that much. The Old Testament actually had Moses, uh, that was the promise for miracles. In other words, I'm going to agree to give you miracles for your benefit, and those miracles are going to be exciting and wonderful, and it's going to be my, my powers, spirit powers. I'm going to agree to show you that based upon you uh, basically making your first step, which is your illumination and exit from uh, Egypt, the Exodus. But because you saw a miracle doesn't mean you're necessarily saved. It means that you are saved at this time, more or less. However, you can shrink back to destruction and nullify the covenant. That's what it means. Let's take a break. The, the, the long, we'll be right back.
Maranatha.